Boy, I just feel like I'm in a recording mood today. It's your boy, Willie Nilly Nitz, back in the game. I'm just thinking about my folks. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm doing this right now. It involves this pattern. It involves this technique. And I was like, oh, let me put a video out. I know there's some people out there. ooh Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So this here, remember that brim? That's the brim. I already got it on there. So this right here, this is what we call mosaic knitting. So mosaic, you know, you got the nice little thing. And it looked pretty difficult from first glance. It's like, oh, how do you do that? I'm trying to tell y'all something. Everybody can do something like this. And I'm here to just dispel and demystify everything. So mosaic knitting is basically a knitting technique where you put patterns in and you're literally knitting stitches and slipping stitches. That's it. And you're going to be using two colors at any one time. So I'm not using like two at a time, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, it's just two. So if you see my, my, my maroon right here, that's two rows. You see them Vs? One, two. Then you see the white? One, two. Then you see the red? One, two. Boy, that's it. And when we get to these kinds of parts right here, these are knits and slips because there's four of them. So I knitted a couple and I slipped a couple. Because when I was slipping them, that means I was doing the red and I was slipping or I was doing the white and I was knitting. So that's all it is, baby. That's it. I'm going to do a little bit for you right now, though, just to quell. You see that? My story isn't finished. It, it's not. I got lots to do. Lots to do. So I am, should be on this one. And that right there is going to be my contrast color or my main color, which is my maroon. I got everything written down. You better stop playing with me. You want to get this right? Just take some, some stuff. So what does it say? Knit two, slip one. Knit five, slip one. Knit one. All right, bet. Here we go. So knit two. Let's do it. One. Two. Slip one. Whoop. You always slip a pearl wise, keep the yarn in the back. Knit five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm running out of yarn on this maroon. I like to use all my yarn. I'm very economical and efficient with mine. So that's five. Slip one. What? Knit one. Bop. All right. So now, as you can see, I'm going to be doing another one of these squares right here. So this is the bottom part of that square. That's what I'm doing. So let's do it again. Follow it. Knit two. A. Slip one. Pop. Knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Shimmy, shimmy. Slip one. Slip that white. Pop. Knit one. That's it, baby. That's it. And you just follow it. So now, like I said, you're only using one yarn, two rows. So one and two is like that. Three and four like that. Five and six like that. Seven and eight like that. Nine and ten like that. Eleven, twelve like that. Twelve row repeat, baby. Twelve row repeat. And you're done. I already did a whole one. And I'm on, as you can see, seven and eight. So this is number seven. I'm going to keep on popping. You know what I mean? Just another one of those things I can do, another one of those things I can show. And this thing is full on custom. Shout out to Mari Chiba. Uh, this is her pattern. This is not my pattern. This is Tessarino cow pattern, but I loved it so much. I was like, let me do a hat with that. And I did like four or five hats with this. <laughs> Your boy ain't playing out here. When you like it, you like it. Um, I don't normally do this for. I don't even know where I was going with that. Anyways, we got the big fat brim. Ooh, doggy. That bad boy stretched long and far, too. So, just another thing to show. Just another thing to get people accustomed to. Because if you can imagine how good your projects will be when you have techniques like this, and you can do it. Contents of this one, we got the 70-30 silk. And merino, 70% merino, 30% silk. And then we got this full-on 100% merino on the white. Looking fly. Oh, yeah. 
We'll see you next time, folks. You already know how I go. We pumping videos out crazy. Hope the Memorial Day is going good. And also, for folks who just subscribed with your boy, you know I ain't used to saying that type of stuff because you know I'm me. I ain't going to be nobody else. Uh-oh. Uh losing some stitches while I'm over here yapping. You get those back. And no big deal. Right? We back in the game. To those of you who just subscribed to your boy, hey, welcome to the show. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I won't disappoint. For those of you who are still rocking with your boy, hey, that's what's up. Keep rocking with your boy. We out here. Um, I got a request to do like a, the best cast on. I was like, eh. well, there's lots of cast ons. I don't know if there's a best one, but you can figure out which one works for you. And that'll be the best one. So I'm going to do that the next time I do a project. But as you can see, I got projects for days. Ooh, that's going to be the next video right there. That bad boy nice. Um, but I got some I got some things to do. So I holla at y'all. Let's keep it popping. Willy nilly. Making it happen. I'm about to change the game. Let's go.